Hi, welcome to the Mayu PC Finder video tutorial, Basic Navigation and Use. Today we'll be covering how to access the Mayu PC Finder Chrome extension, main navigation elements, and how to look up your first UPC. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to cover today is how to access the Chrome extension. Now this tutorial assumes that you've already installed the Mayu PC Finder Chrome extension from the Chrome Web Store. Uh, so as long as you've done that, uh, you can proceed to these next steps. Uh, the Chrome extension will be found in the upper right hand corner here of your browser. Uh, there'll be a little guy with some binoculars, that's our icon. You just go ahead and click on that and that'll pop open uh, the extension. Now, once you have the extension open, uh, there's a few navigation elements here at the bottom. We'll go into more detail with these navigation elements in later videos. Uh, but for now, uh, those uh, navigation elements are Home, History, Settings, and Available Retailers uh, that the extension can currently look UPCs up for. Uh, and the very last thing we need to cover uh, in this tutorial is how to look up your first UPC. Uh, so the first website we're going to go to is just walmart.com for uh, our, this example. Um, now, if you try to look up a UPC or click on this extension while you're on a main page like this, you'll notice that really nothing pops up, and that's due to the fact that there are no UPCs available on that page uh, based on the criteria we have set for this retailer. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to navigate to a uh, product page. So we'll come down here and we'll just pick uh, something out of the home category. Uh, let's do appliances. And we'll look up mixers. Here we go. All right, so now that we're on a product page here, uh, we should be able to pull the UPC up. And all you have to do to look up the UPC at this point is to click on the icon. And there you go. There's the UPC for this product uh, that's found on this page. Um, you can go ahead and copy that uh, by clicking on the copy button here. And it'll actually pop up the, uh, uh, the barcode uh, here on the screen as well. Uh, you have some links for uh, to search Amazon, eBay, and BrickSeek with that UPC as well. Um, but that's how you go ahead and look up the UPC. Now the other thing I did want to show uh, you today was um, my UPC finder has the ability to look up multiple UPCs at the same time. So if a page does have variations on it where the UPCs are available, uh, it will go ahead and list those. And I wanted to show you that on uh, Kohl's real quick, just because I know they have a lot of uh, variations and their bras actually have quite a few variations. So we'll go ahead and look up uh, bras here. Uh, we're just gonna click on the first one. All right, so you can see there's a ton of different colors and there's different sizes. So the, the variations with the UPC should uh, look up. Now, once I click on this, it's going to take a second for this to look up all the UPCs on this page because there are more than one. Uh, so we'll just give it about five to 10 seconds here and it'll go ahead and pop populate with those UPCs. All right, and there you have it. It looked up uh, 398 UPCs uh, for this page. And all of those are available. If you, if you scroll down here, you can see all those UPCs for all the different variations are available to you to copy uh, and do what you need to with. Uh, but that is how you look up the UPCs, whether it's a single UPC on a, on a product page or a uh, multi-UPC variations on a page like uh, something from Kohl's. Um, and then if you do have any additional questions, uh, we do have a support page on our website, myupcfinder.com slash support. Uh, or you can email us directly at 712interactive at gmail.com. Thanks.